I decided to take the $5 a day investment challenge to the next level. So instead of just investing $5 a day into a solid ETF, I have upped the game and invested $5 a day into a high dividend ETF, $5 a day into cryptocurrency, and five more dollars into a total stock market ETF every day so far in 2024. In this video, I'll reveal how my investments have performed, how much my investment balances have increased, which is crazy to me because it feels like I just started this challenge. And last, I'll get into why I think everyone should start a $5 a day investment challenge. Let's take a look at my investments, starting with the worst performing so far this year, which is the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF or SCHD. This is a very popular fund focusing on high dividend paying US stocks, making it attractive for income seeking investors. The total amount invested from my pocket is $770. The current value of my SCHD position is $781.13. I've also received $3.13 in dividends, which have been reinvested. So my total return with dividends reinvested is $11.13, which is 1.45%. I do wanna let you know that my investment with SCHD was actually negative until just last Friday when the market surged in the afternoon. Another cool thing is that I own almost 10 shares of SCHD, which means more dividends are coming my way soon. I love SCHD and plan to continue holding this fund into retirement. Before we move on, I wanna let you know that almost 98% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please take a second and hit the like and subscribe button. The next fund I've invested $5 daily into is the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF or VTI. This fund provides exposure to the entire US stock market, making it a favorite for diversified long-term growth. The total amount I've invested in VTI is $770. The current value of my VTI position is $803.21. I've also received $1.50 in dividends. So my total return with dividends reinvested is $31.71 or just over 4.1%. With this position, I own just over three shares of VTI, which is awesome. I love VTI. It's a Vanguard fund with low fees and I plan to continue adding to this position for years to come. Moving on to my crypto positions, I've only invested $5 a day into crypto, but I decided to split that in half and invest only $2.50 into Bitcoin and another $2.50 a day into Ethereum. Investing in crypto is a wild ride. These have been very volatile. Let's take a look at where they stand today. First, let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital currency known for its high volatility and potential for significant returns. Total amount I've invested is $385. The current value of my Bitcoin position is $457.37, which means I have a total return of $72.37 or 19.73%. I love Bitcoin and I'm one of those people who think it will someday be mainstream currency. I would love to increase my investment amount into Bitcoin sooner than later. My best performing asset so far in 2024 is Ethereum, which is another popular cryptocurrency valued for its blockchain technology and smart contracts. The total amount I've invested is $385. The current value of my Ethereum position is $481.67, which means I have a total return of $96.67 or just over 25%. Just like with Bitcoin, I plan to increase my exposure to Ethereum this year. Adding all this up, I've invested $2,310 of my own money into SCHD, VTI, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. My current balance across all these assets is $2,523.38, which means I'm up 9.24% across all these positions so far in 2024. This challenge has been a lot of fun and I plan to keep doing it. I suggest everyone start something like this. If you're strapped for money, you don't even need $5 a day. As you can see with my crypto investments, are doing amazing with only $2.50 invested daily. The best part of regularly investing is that you are not timing the market. You don't have to worry if stocks are up or down. In fact, when you are investing daily, you almost hope that stocks are lower so you can get them for a better deal. With 212 days left in 2024, there are plenty of time for you to start this daily investment habit. Imagine where you could be by the end of the year if you started today. If you do decide to take on this challenge, let me know in the comments which asset you are buying. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you're not sure what to watch next, check out this video right here. I think you will really love it. Be sure to subscribe, take care, and I will see you next time.